looking to really amp up the aggression here. This is a strategy that has been severely nerfed, but it was a time where T1 was the most successful in spring when they were able to utilize this a lot. I'm not sure about the uh, the Callista support. That one's that ship has most certainly sailed. Um, the Braum though. Starting earlier in KT. Applying a ton of pressure here in the early game, as, as expected. Yeah, as they really are. Kurz going to be able to take the first dragon. Second one going to be a mountain here as Equalizer comes down on the top side. Kane is getting barbecued, and Zayas going to overheat himself. Kane going for the turnaround now, but the flash follows, and Zayas looking for that harpoon, but he just flame spits him down. That is going to be a solo kill first blood for Team. We'll have to see whether he can continue putting on this Ooh, pressure. Now has Lahans. the Storm Chooses. Lahans is moving over, but Owner in great position. Q comes forward. There is the Equalizer down once more, but Zayas is already dead. Owner is going to be able to push them into the barbecue, but it's just not... Minion spacing. Nicely done. Yeah. Really well played. Hobie not going to fall for it now, though, as BDD. That's a fla flash pop blossom as aiming's going to come through. Is this just going to be a Zeri kill? No, it's Kuz just going to stab him. And that is the first kill. The carrier turning up, and Gumiushi going to come on over as well. So Aiming's going to take a uh, first time. A little optimistic, as uh, I was wondering whether Owner was going to actually make his way over. We do have uh, the reinforcements coming in. Turret will still go down. Yeah, as Aiming up. is just looking for another oh. turret. This is like the most unfettered Zeri like, that I've ever seen. Like, I loved his... We wanted to have, like, two item spikes ready for fighting for Soul Point and things like this for the Jace. The Jace doesn't even have one completed item yet, right? Oh. Like, it's it's so far away. Celebrate this game. Okay. As, yeah, okay. There's a whole bunch of friends that are going to turn up. He does go into Dominus mode, but I don't know whether it's going to be enough. The concussive blows come in. He's slicing. He's Dyson. But he's not getting out of this one. And that is going to be the kill. Does go one. This turret is about to die, Lehens. Um, as the hook. Oh my. Lehens has. Side jungle, or, right? Or, yeah. Or rather, the, the blue early. Well, there is another flash pop blossom, and Gumiyushi is just dead. BDD able to dash cannon his way out of this one as well. That's how full we type are. guys. Oh, yeah. Um, we're Still struggling. Tough. Yeah, we're, we're struggling. There's just not a lot in there. As Poby is going to take a fair bit of damage from that extendo beam, aiming. Still trying to find an avenue in, and maybe just killing Lahens is going to be a good way to do it, as the crashdown doesn't quite work. The Flash Magnus Storm's pretty good, though, but the Nautilus is still dead. Now the ulti comes out from aiming, and the two-man pop blossom is pretty fantastic, especially if you can kill the Rumble. A double for BDD, as aiming really wants to skate over. Instead, he's going to have to flash aggressively, as that extendo beam just fantastic. Refill on the glass just a little bit. Let's see whether T1 can steal this one away, as BDD's just flashing in. He finds the three-man instantly. Gumiyushi is dead. They had to go for it, didn't they? But it just wasn't going to work out. Equalizer doing a fair bit of work there as Aiming's just going to grab a last, a, a few last hits in this fight as he skates over. Kerry is going to show them his really cool fireplace, but he's just going to try and waste as much time as possible here. This game, ladies and gentlemen, I believe is on its last legs. That is going to be the ace. The Baron is now... Um, Kind of. Uh, we will just see whether they can push through for the end, but there will be at least one more fight from T1. The circle comp reigns supreme. Yeah. Has pressed their circles very, very well. Half a member down, right? Like that's the yeah. reality. Kobe again had to back like after three, four levels to just get a tear. So his early lane. But it does mean that uh, playing out the game for T1 kind of relies on uh, trying to maybe get something going on top. Zayas got a kill. Wasn't enough. And KT just kept Ow. up the pressure in every single lane as this game. This game is pretty is done and done. Very done. And I, 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 would say, I would even say Freddy. I would go as far Whoa. to say extremely over. Yeah. I think. And I don't uh, say that often. You know me. I'm always looking for an angle. No, it's, it's, a, it's a dry glass. You know? Yeah. As the hook is going to land there. Crashdown comes through as well. Pop goes the Maokai. And now T1, four members trying to defend these Nexus turrets. I don't know whether it's going to happen. Another hook's going to land here from Lahans. Absolutely fantastic game from him. The two-man Pop Blossom comes through as BDD reminds us that he's going to be the one getting the POG here today. Poby, the last one to fall. Another ace for good measure here from KT as they will decimate T1 in game number one of this Saturday showdown. 14,000 uh, gold lead in the end and a sub 30 minute victory. So a little bit of Lahens cam there at the end as well. He's like, let's go! Oh man, he was he was not afraid of pressing that dredge line button.